So this week on Project Realness, Reality, we have Miss April Jones from Sankofa. And uh, my question to you, Mrs. Jones, is as a mother of an African American or black American teenage boy, how does your conversation change when interacting with your son about where he can go, what he can do, and what he can wear given the Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, and Michael Brown race or police situation in America? Well, thank you for having me, Kenan. Uh, as a mother of having a African-American male here in America, and given the Trayvon Martin cases and all the police brutality and the whole cradle to prison pipeline, my conversation has not really changed with my son because um, from birth I've known um, how America treats uh, black in black men and I've always told him coming up he has um, already had some strikes against, against him so with the whole pants sagging I tell him you have to present yourself a certain way pull your pants up walk with dignity know where you came from be a leader don't be around areas and people that can get you in trouble um, I've I've talked to him about, uh, you know, getting an education. That's one of the big things we need. You, you, you need to be educated so you can be aware. You need to know the laws. You need to know how to speak and how to communicate. Uh, look someone in their eye when you talk with them. And ask questions if you have a question or a doubt. So, with my son and, and in America and everything that's going on with police brutality, we just have an understanding that we're going to be educated and, um, and keep walking with our heads up.